Hello everyone, Callum here from KB Ants and welcome back to another video. In today's video I'm going to be showing you how to make your own DIY white on ant nest. I'll be making this for my meat ants as they're growing like crazy and I hope you enjoy the video. So this is some of the things that you'll need to do this white on nest. You'll need some paint, paintbrush, pencil and obviously a white on block. You'll also need a Dremel but you can also do this with a screwdriver so if you don't have a Dremel don't panic you can do it with a screwdriver as well. You'll need a sheet of acrylic or you can use glass, you'll just have to do hydration a different way. You'll need a hacksaw, a file or sandpaper. So now I'm going to mark the white on block so I can decide what size I want the actual nest and cut it down to the correct size. Quite easy with a hacksaw, um, so that's probably the best method. You can also use wood saws as well. So I basically cut it in half and then half again, pretty much. So that is the, the size that I wanted to have. So instead of sanding down the sides because it had a bit of a rough edge, I just decided to cut it. I just thought it'd be a lot quicker than sanding. For these parts, if you're not an adult, please get an adult to help you. Um, as some of these tools can be dangerous. Now I want to measure the safe zone. To an area where if I don't go out of when I'm carving it won't damage the nest. This is pretty important because when using a Dremel or a screwdriver to carve your nest you can sort of get a bit ahead of yourself and, and do a bit too much so this is just a, a way of knowing whereabouts you're actually safe to be able to be carving your nest. So obviously if one of these breaks you've got to start from scratch which obviously isn't very fun they do take a while to do but they are worth it also bear in mind this is my first like, white on nest that I've ever built so it's all new to me as well um, and to be honest I don't think it turned out too bad so this is the nest all marked out this is the part where you can get fun and you can design the chambers however you want. It doesn't have to be any certain way. As long as you've got somewhere to put your hydration chamber, then that's fine. When using the Dremel, you probably want to get a, a dust mask, um, as it can be very dusty when using a Dremel. You'll probably be okay if you're using a screwdriver, as it's not going to create as much dust. Even outside with a Dremel, you're still going to get a lot of dust being produced and it's just safer to wear a dust mask. Using the Dremel did make it really easy, um, but if you haven't got one, don't worry, just use a screwdriver. The only difference is it'll probably take a bit longer with a screwdriver, but it's not impossible. All the Dremel is for is basically convenience. So this is it all carved out. The circle in the centre is for the sponge for the hydration. And I also rounded off the edges. You don't have to do that, I just think it makes it look a bit better. So these are going to be the holes for all my tubing to go into so I can connect it to an outworld. I've opted to do two holes for this nest, one on either side. Reason being, my meat ants at the moment are currently in an outworld in, in a test tube. Um, which I'm going to be connecting to this nest. Um, the outworld only has one port, so I've done one on the other side so that I can, when they get bigger, they can, I can connect it to another nest or another outworld. Just sort of future proofing. 
once I connect this to the Me Ants art world, I'll probably just plug the other side that's not being used. When drilling a hole, make sure you do it slowly. Try not to take too much off. Um, just take a little bit off and then try and see if the tube fits through. If not, then make it a tiny bit bigger and try again. Just do it in little steps because obviously if you go too far and it's too big, you can't really go back in time and make it any smaller. The only way you can probably do it is by having the tube inside and then putting blue tack around it or something like that. Um, but try and avoid that if you can. Alright, so let's get some paint on this nest. Uh, I hope you like the colour I chose. Obviously, it's the colour of my logo. Um, I think it, it looks nice. You don't need to paint your nest. I just think it's another way of making it more personalised. But yeah, you don't you don't need it. It doesn't serve much purpose other than just how it looks, really. Obviously, I've made this video. There's no harm in buying a nest if you don't want to make your own nest. But this is just a cheaper alternative. If you want to do something and make it more personal, you can make a nest like this. It's not overly difficult. It takes a bit of time, probably a few hours to get it all done, which is nothing major in my opinion. And if you're trying to save money and you're on a low budget, it's ideal. Also, if you've got kids, it's a fun thing to do with the kids. Obviously, don't leave them on their own to do it unsupervised, but it's fun to do it with them, you know, um, an activity. So now I cut the acrylic to size, which was pretty easy. It wasn't too bad, I used a hacksaw to do that. And now I'm doing a pilot hole in either corner of the nest and also one in the middle for the to hydrate the actual nest. If you don't do the pilot holes in your nest you're liable to crack the white on that's the main reason why I did it I also rounded off the corners for the acrylic as well again you don't need to I just think it made it look a bit better so the screws I'm using are plasterboard screws, just because um, it's quite a soft material white tongue, so I think it would it'd work well, which it did, it held the acrylic on nicely. So this is the finished product, I hope you like it, and I hope you like the video. Like I said, this is my first time doing anything like this, and I don't think it turned out half bad. Uh, there'll be another video of me introducing this nest to my meat ant colony which are booming at the moment um, they are by far my favourite colony um, and I'm looking forward to showing you them so just keep an eye out for that video that will be coming probably next weekend so like I said I hope you liked the video if you did please remember to like and subscribe and I hope to see you again in the next one